All right, greetings from Indianapolis. Scott Gerard alongside Sam Farnsworth. Really fired up to get Sam on here and chat a little Utah State basketball. As we'll have the game for you on 1280 AM coming up tomorrow as Utah State takes on TCU. Uh, but we just went through media availability. We just uh, saw practices. Give me an impression of what you've seen and uh, how you think this goes tomorrow. Well, uh, I like that they're relaxed. They, they appear loose. You know, you, you think about the way the conference tournament ended in Las Vegas just a week ago. And, and yeah, you, you could assume that they could that there might be a little more stress or pressure I guess behind having uh, performed the way they did in Vegas coming into the big NCAA tournament but when I was talking to the guys in the locker room I mean all these guys they just they're excited to be here and yeah. and that's a good thing right this is the biggest show in college basketball they're excited to be here they're loose and they really do believe that They've got something special in the tank, which which is cool to hear them talk about. There's no doubt, too. And it's just been such a crazy special season all year long for this team. And uh, why not keep it rolling in the NCAA tournament for sure? But to get a win, they got to go up against a TCU team that does some things really well that Utah State may struggle with a little bit. Number one is uh, offensive rebounding. They are number 20th in the country in offensive rebounding percentage at TCU. Utah State really kind of struggled down the stretch. You saw it in Vegas. Mm -hmm. They gave up, even in that win against Fresno State, mm -hmm. uh, they gave up some key offensive rebounds. And obviously, San Diego State beat them up pretty good on the glass. To me, that's the number one uh, thing in this game going into that this. That has to be an emphasis for Coach Sprinkle. Yeah, because you brought it up. And, and for me, it was really evident. And I guess it's more evident when you're talking about a loss. But yeah. that San Diego State game, they gave up a lot of second chances uh, on the offensive glass. They've got to be able to control that against a TCU team that is extremely physical. We were listening to, to their head coach uh, talking just moments before Utah State's media availability, he talked about how he likes to recruit physical players, and then he likes to coach them to be even more physical. So Utah State's going to have to match that in the paint. The Aggies, uh, obviously, offensively with great Osborne, I think that's a key element that they have in this game. Uh, he's certainly capable of playing in the Big 12, could be a Big 12 caliber player. So they've seen that kind of guys, those kind of guys in the post, but great Osborne has to be great tomorrow. Out, yeah, he's got to be excellent. He's got to be that that uh, All-American type player. Yep. You know. Um, I think another guy that's got to be big is Isaac Johnson. You know, when, when we're talking about the paint play again, you know, and I know he's he's a good kind of stretch player for a big, but but he's got to get in there and and just you know assert some strength and muscle as well uh, to to grab those boards and and just be a defensive presence as well. So let's talk about your coverage on uh, KSL TV. What do you got? What do you guys got coming up? Well, we spoke with. I mean, I can't even count how many guys in the locker room. I love these open locker rooms. Yeah, sessions. I know. Isn't it's, this the it, best? It's, it's, it's almost, uh, you know, uh, they don't block our access yeah. pretty much. And so, yeah, we were able to talk to a lot of guys just about what it means to be here, uh, what it's going to take for them to beat TCU, and then just uh, how much fun they're having being here as well. I mean, there's so many topics, uh, including why Coach uh, Sprinkle picked Prince. Ah, oh. <laughs> as his favorite artist. That's right. You know, I talked to him last night and he didn't really look. I love Prince and I think it was a great pick. I just was surprised by it. He right. didn't really strike me as a Prince guy. But uh, but yeah, there was uh, Matt Norlander of CBS asked each coach in the NCAA tournament who their favorite uh, music, yeah, uh, musical artist is. And he went with <laughs> Prince. Uh, you know what? Mark Pope, a little bit surprised. He went with T-Swizzle, Taylor Swift. He's been talking about Taylor Swift all year. though. Yeah. His player, Danny Sprinkle's players don't even believe that, yeah. that he likes Prince either, though. So, uh, Sadly for BYU, the Eras Tour ended today <laughs> as they uh, they lost their game earlier today. How surprised were you with that? I mean, you and I were in the back yeah. kind of watching a little bit. I was I was shocked. So, uh, I really had them. Uh, I, in fact, I had them going to the Sweet 16 because I thought mm -hmm. they beat Illinois. And I still think had they been able to beat uh, Duquesne, I think they would have been able to beat Illinois, but uh, a bit of a shocker for BYU with their tournament ending as early as it did. And I thought they were a Sweet 16 caliber team too. And then if you look at that matchup, if we're getting that far ahead, it's a potential matchup with Iowa State, yeah, which yeah. we know BYU's played well against them. It could have been maybe even an, another round beyond that, you know, but you have to take care of business in the first round. BYU, I, I, you know, obviously we weren't there. We didn't uh, hear what they had to say afterwards, but yeah, that's uh, that was disappointing. Maybe Utah State can, can flip yeah. that switch, though, and bring our tomorrow, state man. that NCAA tournament win that we've been waiting a long time for. Yeah, our, our boss, uh, Nate Dowdle, uh, tweeted out, and uh, I forget the year. Nate, I'm sorry. I, I, I did. You had, the, you had the date, but you have to go all the way back to Utah's win over Fresno State in the NCAA tournament, like 15 or 15, 16. Think, was it 15? I think it was 15. It was yeah. the last time that the state of Utah had a team win in the NCAA tournament. So hopefully 
that ends tomorrow with Utah State getting a win uh, against TCU. We'll have all the coverage, uh, of course, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We'll continue on. I'll be on the air with Hans Olsen tomorrow from uh, 12 to 3, uh, and then we'll have the game for you on uh, 1280 AM, and of course, you got all the coverage on KSL TV. Yep. KSL Sports live at 6 and 10 p.m. tonight and tomorrow night as well. Let's do it. Live from Indianapolis, Scott Gerard, Sam Farnsworth. He's on TV for a reason. Good-looking <laughs> dude right here. Uh, thanks for watching KSLSports.com.